I wanted to show the process I use for heat treating uh, a piece of steel. The steel that's in the oven right now, I don't know if you can see the gauge on or the temperature gauge on it, it's up to 1450 degrees, it is a piece of L6 steel from an old sawmill saw blade where I've cut out a small piece and uh, make what hopefully looks like a knife. Uh, the oven's heating up and I'll show you how I do the process here as we go. Okay, just about up to temperature. I like to heat it up to uh, 1525 degrees. Now this is an uh, liquid cooled steel uh, as opposed to an air cooled. So it's at 1525 degrees. I'm going to pull it out of the oven and dip it in this oil. The oil has been heated up to probably about 150 to 175 degrees. Now just the blade is in the oil, the uh, handle is going to cool a little slower, and that's okay. The blade's what I'm more concerned with. And having the uh, handle area a little bit softer is just fine. Now this process is the hardening of the steel. And after uh, I get it cleaned up, um, I want to take some of that hardness out so the knife's not so brittle. It's cooled enough where I can just let it sit and cool on its own. Sometimes you get a big flame when you do this, sometimes you don't. I'm using for a quench, I'm just using old uh, motor oil, old used motor oil. I can pull it out. It's dirty and nasty. This I did not use any um, anti-scaling compound on uh, because I don't have any right now. An anti-scaling compound, I would have uh, taken the knife out of the oven at 500 degrees, coated it with the anti-scaling compound, and then heated it up the rest of the way and cooled it. Makes it a lot uh, easier to clean up, but this isn't too bad. All right, I've done the tempering now. Uh, for tempering uh, this type of steel, I temper it at 450 degrees for two hours, and I do that twice. And this is the second cycle, and as you can see, it's cooling down here. Temperature is down to 268, uh, so it's been off for a while. It's cooling down. It takes a little while, um, but I get impatient, so we'll open the door and see what it looks like. Still a little too hot to grab, so I will grab a pair of pliers and pull it out and show you what it looks like after it's done tempering. Now after the um, heat treat and the oil quench, um, I had to clean it up and clean it up with the uh, grinder. And again, here's the grinder I'm using. It's a Grizzly. Um, I've made up a soft wheel. Takes out scratches pretty good uh it works fairly well just put the the belt on there um clean up all the uh scale that's on the knife and then uh put it in there and temper it and now it's ready to finish grinding drill some holes and attach a finger guard and some handles i'll show you what that looks like when it's done 